Did you know that there was a financial literacy crisis in this country? Yes, often people say to me, what crisis? We talk about everything. We talk about um, sexual abuse. We talk about sexual harassment. We talk about sex, drugs, rock and roll, but we don't tend to talk about money. Money is still a topic that is very, very taboo. So this is Kathleen Burns Kingsbury. I'm here in the KBK Wealth Connection office, and I'm telling you that this month, National Financial Literacy Month, is a month that we all should band together and say, hey, it is not okay that as a country we have such a low level of financial know-how. In fact, if you look at the statistics, only 39% of men and 35% of women can pass a basic financial literacy exam. We are all smarter than that. Money is not that complicated, but because talking about it is taboo, we don't tend to talk with each other, teach each other, and have really meaningful conversations and good educational programs around how to make, manage, invest, and gift money. So as you know, if you've followed me at all, Breaking Money Silence is a passion of mine, and it's a commitment that I've made in my career. And so in honor of Financial Literacy Month, and the fact that there is a literacy crisis, I would like you to do one thing. This month, at any point in the month, go to my website, breakingmoneysilence.com, go to the podcast page, and listen to just one 20-minute episode. All the episodes are focused on a money myth, how to bust that money myth wide open, and how to engage in a financial conversation uh, that is more meaningful. I have really great guests on, so it's not just yours truly, although I would be entertaining. It is uh, guests who are experts, regular people, all sorts of people from all different walks of life who have committed to saying, you know what, it's not okay that this country has a financial literacy crisis, and I know that breaking money silence is going to help us not only talk more openly about money, but be in a better position to teach each other about money. So in honor of Financial Literacy Month, please go check out my podcast, Breaking Money Silence, and know that we don't have to live with this crisis any longer.